The first image of Venus from surface. The first images of Venus from the surface were obtained by the Soviet Union's Venera 9 and Venera 10 missions in 1975. These missions marked the first successful landings on Venus, and the images they sent back provided valuable information about the planet's surface, atmosphere, and geology. Venus is the second planet from the Sun and is often referred to as Earth's sister planet due to its similar size and composition. However, the similarities end there. Venus has a thick, toxic atmosphere that is mostly carbon dioxide and has surface temperatures that can reach up to 864 degrees Fahrenheit, 462 degrees Celsius, making it one of the harshest environments in the solar system. The Venera 9 and Venera 10 missions were launched by the Soviet Union in June 1975 and were designed to explore Venus and study its atmosphere, geology, and meteorology. The spacecraft consisted of two parts, an orbiter and a lander. The orbiter would remain in orbit around Venus and conduct remote sensing observations, while the lander would descend to the surface and take measurements and images. The Venera 9 and Venera 10 landers were similar in design, with each consisting of a spherical descent module, a parachute system, and a group of scientific instruments. The descent module was equipped with a camera that could take panoramic images of the surface, as well as instruments to measure temperature, pressure, and atmospheric composition. The landers were launched separately from the orbiters and entered Venus's atmosphere a few days later. They used a heat shield to protect themselves from the intense heat and pressure of the atmosphere, which is about 90 times denser than Earth's. Once they had slowed down enough, the landers deployed their parachutes and began their descent to the surface. The Venera 9 lander landed on October 22, 1975, in an area known as the Phoebe region. The camera on board the lander took the first images of Venus from the surface. The camera was mounted on a boom that extended from the side of the lander, giving it a panoramic view of the surrounding area. The images sent back by Venera 9 showed a rocky, desolate landscape with scattered boulders and a reddish-orange sky. The images were grainy and low resolution, but they provided the first glimpse of what the surface of Venus looked like. The camera also took measurements of the temperature and pressure, which were found to be 485 degrees Celsius and 90 atmospheres, respectively. The Venera 10 lander landed a few days later on October 25, 1975, in an area known as the Isola region, about 2,200 kilometers, 1,367 miles, away from the Venera 9 landing site. The camera on board the Venera 10 lander also took panoramic images of the surface, which were similar to those taken by Venera 9. The images showed a rocky, barren landscape with scattered boulders and a reddish-orange sky. However, the Venera 10 images were slightly higher in resolution than those taken by Venera 9. The camera also took measurements of the temperature and pressure, which were found to be 465 degrees Celsius and 94 atmospheres, respectively. Both Venera 9 and Venera 10 landers operated for about an hour on the surface before their batteries ran out. During this time, they conducted a variety of scientific experiments, including analyzing the chemical composition of the surface material, measuring the magnetic field, and studying the behavior of the atmosphere. The images and data sent back by the Venera 9 and Venera The images and data sent back by the Venera 9 and Venera 10 missions provided valuable insights into the geology, meteorology, and atmosphere of Venus. The images showed a barren, rocky landscape, with no signs of water or life. The reddish-orange sky was caused by the scattering of sunlight by the thick, carbon dioxide atmosphere. The images also revealed that the surface was covered in volcanic rock and that there were large boulders scattered across the landscape. The temperature and pressure measurements provided by the landers showed that the conditions on Venus were extremely harsh, with temperatures hot enough to melt lead and pressures high enough to crush a submarine. The data also showed that the atmosphere was almost entirely carbon dioxide, with traces of nitrogen and other gases. The magnetic field measurements revealed that Venus has no significant magnetic field, which is unusual for a planet of its size. One of the most surprising discoveries made by the Venera missions was the presence of lightning on Venus. The landers detected electrical discharges in the atmosphere, which were later confirmed by other missions. This discovery was unexpected, as lightning is usually associated with water vapor, which is not present in Venus's atmosphere. The Venera missions also provided valuable information about the planet's geological history. The surface of Venus is covered in volcanic rock, which suggests that there has been extensive volcanic activity in the past. 
The landers also detected rocks that had been weathered by wind and acid rain, indicating that there had been a period of intense weathering in the planet's history. The Venera missions were followed by a series of other missions to Venus, including the Magellan spacecraft, which mapped the planet's surface using radar, and the Venus Express spacecraft, which studied the planet's atmosphere and climate. These missions built on the knowledge gained from the Venera missions and provided a more detailed understanding of Venus's geology and meteorology. Overall, the first images of Venus from the surface obtained by the Venera 9 and Venera 10 missions provided valuable insights into the planet's harsh environment, geology, and atmosphere. The images showed a barren, rocky landscape with no signs of water or life, and a thick, carbon dioxide atmosphere that created a reddish-orange sky. The data collected by the landers revealed that the temperatures and pressures on Venus were extreme, and that the planet's atmosphere was almost entirely carbon dioxide. The Venera missions were a major milestone in the exploration of Venus and paved the way for future missions to this fascinating planet. Thanks for watching.